the Tough Guy Act and these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place, any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth. I want to get out them six shooters. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Is that your right. solution? Every poll. No, no, sit down. <laughs> Hello, hi, how are you? How you doing? How do you do? What's going on? K Pasa? K what you call your Pasa and all that other good stuff. This is the Robozoid, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves, trying to figure out what the hell is going on here on the Senate floor, because you had uh, Oklahoma Senator Mullen uh, really going at this union <clears throat> this GOP union boss, um, whose name is Sean O'Brien. Sean. Well, you can tell already, Sean O'Brien's not a tough guy. I don't know, I just, there's something about guys named Sean that just don't seem tough to me. But with my luck, what would you know it? I probably have, uh, I probably have, I probably have subscribers and audience members named Sean, so I'd better back off here. Anyway, Anyway, he really, really got into it with uh, this union boss. McCullen really got into it with the, really got, Mullen really got into it with this union boss. And, well, quite frankly, it just really blew up. And you had Boydy Sanders in the middle of it trying to be the referee with the gavel and all that, which we'll make jokes about that later. But in the meantime, you might actually enjoy this little back and forth. <laughs> and this certain lack of discourse and rather brutish and unsophisticated repartee. Take a look. Let's talk about Mr. O'Brien himself, his behavior. As everybody knows in this hearing, the last time him and I kind of had a back and forth. I uh, appreciate your demeanor today. It's quite different. But after you left here, you got pretty excited about the keyboard. In fact, you tweeted at me one... By the way, who are the two blimps Three, sitting behind four, him? Five times. And let me read what the last one said. Um, it said, greedy CEO who pretends... Seriously, like the one on self -made. the right looks like a Cabbage Patch Sorry, doll with glasses. I was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company myself. And my wife was running the office because I sure remember working pretty hard in long hours. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been... Always will be. Quit the tough guy act and these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place, any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, hold, stop it. Is that your All solution? Right. Every poll. No, no, sit down. Oh, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. I hate to sit say down. it, but right. really it was actually Mullen who kind of started Hold that. If we can't, no, I have the mic. I'm sorry. This is Hold what he said. It. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> now, some of this I have to play for you again. Quit the tough guy act and these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place, any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. You want to run your mouth? Might want to get out them six shooters. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, stop it. Is that your solution? Every no, no, sit down. Oh, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Actively. Oh, okay, okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Hold show. it. Hold it. If we can, no, I have the mic. I'm sorry. This is Hold what he said. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> this is a hearing. But this is where discourse is going. Anyway, you saw how a lot of this began on X. But now we're going to show you more of it, uh, how it could have escalated into a full-fledged fistfight had it between uh, Senator Mullen and Senator Big Huge. But Boyne Sanders actually put a stop to it if you can believe it. Yeah, Bernie Sanders, probably the most antagonistic guy in the Senate ever, but he's actually the one who tries to negotiate the peace in this video, as you'll see. You are, and that's the, I don't like you, because you just described yourself. Hold it. You have the 
the mic. Yeah. You have time. All Make right. Your statement. Then let's do this because I did challenge you and I accepted your challenge, and you went quiet. No, I didn't go quiet. I was. No, I was no, no, you no, challenged no. me to a cage match, no, no, acting no. like a twelve-year-old schoolyard bully. Hold it. Excuse me. Hold, hold it. No, excuse me. I, I will mic. say. I will say Just exactly. Senator Mullen, I have the mic. You have questions on any economic issues, anything that's said, go for it. We're not here to talk about physical abuse. You brought. We're not talking yeah. about. Of course, and, I and did. let me tell you. Right. Let's you keep the discourse no already. Expose this thug to who he is. And You're not pointing me. That's I mean, yeah. Even if the union boss is a thug, which he undoubtedly is, it's still not good discourse. You don't want to hold it. The most hold it, please. Acted. Please. All right. This is a, excuse me, mm -hmm. this is a hearing to discuss economic issues. All right. If you have questions for Mr. O'Brien or anybody else on what he has said, go for it. I mean, but we're not here to talk about fights. Or I'm, else. I'm quoting exactly what he said. You can and say what is, you want. This is this is your this is your witness this you is brought. My witness. And let me, I'm, I'm exposing him. You can ex as talk a anything you want. Is. So in 2013, no and you're he, obviously going to give him a chance to he, respond he can, to your oh, question. Absolutely, absolutely. Because this is my question. Because you called me out. I didn't call you out. He did. You said any time, any place. That's, That's that. Said, right? Let's get the record okay. straight. Miss, hold it. No. Hold on. Ms. Senator Mullen, do you have a question for the witness? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's hear it. So. Anytime, any place. No, that's April, not. April. Anytime, is a charity event. anywhere, no, that's not, any that's place. Not, no, no, it's a. He, no. Sir, he said it, and this is. My he is time. here to tell. No. Premiers and what the questions can or cannot be asked. Now, no, you're not going to. We're not going to be talking about yeah, physical yeah. confrontation. Oh, this is about charity for a union. Yeah, it's charity. probably a good idea not, not to because, because we want to keep this thing on the level. Grow up, please. You have a question on his. Let's not be said it. You're in back. You said it, and I'm just simply answering it. You well, we know Boyne Sanders is an embarrassment. But then again, so is this fat rhino, Mr. Senator Big Huge. Yeah, I mean, look, the reality of it is, you know, Mr. Mr. Mullen, tough guy. Answer, hold it. Answer the questions. Well, yeah, Mullen's a tough guy because you're not. Bernie Sanders is a wussy. He should have just let them fight it out, like... It would have actually been very interesting. Anytime, any place, anywhere he wanted it. Anytime, any place, anywhere. He's going to kick his ass out there. Okay. Well, that's enough of that goofiness. Um, I mean, I do think that there should be discourse. There should be some sort of decorum here. Obviously, where is decorum going? Uh, why do we have no uh, good discourse anymore? Why is there no uh, decorum anymore? And above all else, why is <clears throat> why must everything have to be settled with fisticuffs? I mean, this is a violent enough world as it is. Well, with all the wars breaking out, uh, the, the whole thing between Russia and Ukraine, the whole thing going on between Hamas and Israel, um, you've got uh, just... Uh, ten black teenagers ganging up on one white teenager, uh, beating the shit out of him, uh, attacking an old woman, whatever. Uh, come on, can we not have some decorum in this world? Is it too much to ask to actually call for a little bit of peace and quiet? Maybe it is asking too much, because quite frankly, in this degenerating and dumbed-down society, violence is really all anybody understands. Even if it would have been interesting to see Mullen and to see Mullen and this ridiculous crime boss, uh, this union kingpin, go at it, yeah, it would have been very interesting. But still, I don't think that would be the way to solve anything. That's just what I think. Anyway, I would have loved to have played the whole thing for you, but it's way too long. So this has been the Robazoid saying, "Well, remember, folks, as always." Because Bernie Sanders clearly doesn't, that wokeness is weakness, and apparently neither neither does uh, union boss Big Huge. He doesn't seem to get it either. Also remember that YouTube has been unsubscribing a lot of people lately, so check and make sure you're still subscribed. And if you are, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do so and do the same thing. It's good for the channel. It helps us out. It's good for you, it's good for me, all that good stuff.
You'll not regret a single minute of it. You're going to get a lot more comprehensive information here than you ever would on Happy Hoodie or Dr. Optimism. So, this is the Robozoid saying, remember folks, we need that power to the people back, and also we need the power to the music in the streets, and that is the music of our voices in upright, in upright revolt, and hopefully maybe a little bit of decorum. Peace!